Mr. Speaker, yesterday the Minister of Foreign Affairs gave a thumbs down when I called on the government to make the return of the Azar children a priority. The Minister came close today to apologizing, but yesterday he doubled down by deploying a liberal insider to criticize Alison Azar for daring to speak up for the return of her children. So, will the minister give a Send clear apology squad. to Alison Azar and secondly apologize for deploying a liberal insider to criticize Alison Azar's efforts? The Honourable Minister for Foreign Affairs. Mr. Speaker, it is imperative in order to resolve heartbreaking cases as, the, as a family that all colleagues in this House work together. But the opposition is free to instead politicize this issue in an unequal way, as my colleague did yesterday. Now that they know how I, how I feel about harmful politicization, I will come back to my usual impeccable parliamentary behavior. And again, I will say, my door is open. Let us all work together to reunite this family. Excellent. The Honourable Member for St. Albert, Edmonton. Mr. Speaker, it's certainly interesting that the Minister would say that because it certainly wasn't the Liberal approach with the case of Mohamed Fahmy. But needless to say, the Minister of Foreign Affairs uh, has, uh, didn't answer the question that was posed by the Honourable Member for Courtney Alberni to provide this House and all Canadians with an update on the status of the Azar children. Will he do so now? Yes. The Honourable Minister of Foreign Affairs. Mr. Speaker, I will not certainly reveal information that will hurt the case. I have no other goal than to bring these children with their mother. I'm only saying that in order to succeed, we need to work all together and to avoid to politicize this issue. And if the opposition has concrete suggestions to make how to bring these children out of Iran, I'm, my door is open, the door of my parliamentary secretary is open for constructive suggestions from any of our colleagues.